Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, Dan. Yep. You did not seem fired up about Christmas. No. Are you fired up about the bowl games? Because I am. I'm a fucking junkie. This is my favorite. <clears throat> this is actually my my second favorite time of gambling of the year. There's too much going on right now. Uh, in your world or just <laughs> no <laughs> sports? There's too many goddamn games. There's a lot. There's always been a lot. But here's why I love it. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Family comes in for the holidays. Yeah. Uh, wife's bitching about whatever, man. Not holding my finger in a fucking pie long enough or whatever she's <laughs> making. Wait, you... Why would you hold your finger in a pie? Dan, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. You go two fingers in a pie. Oh, you, oh two. Okay. Two. Um, therefore, I like to bet on all of these shitty, terrible games just so I have something. I just want to feel alive over the holidays. Kids are off school. This is it, man. They're in bed, and I'm like, fuck it. Or I'm at a you know Wings or any other chain establishment. That one might think of. Wing, with, are you shortening children. Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah, well, just wings in general. You know, you're just calling it wings now. Yeah, because mm. I'll go. I'll, I'll go where the wings are. I'm a, look, you know me. I'll go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, I'll go to Hooters. Uh, I'll go to <laughs> Carolina Ale House. I'll wing it up anywhere. If you got good wings, like I'm there. I don't give. I don't, yeah. I'm not. I'm not a a wing segregationist. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah. Yeah, no, I think. Well, it is. you do. You're particular about the style, though. Yeah, extra it's, crispy. It's it, it, I like them extra crispy, but I also like the breaded <laughs> ones over at Hooters. I don't fuck with those. I don't get those crispy. There's, um, a, there's no, another the bre- joint here in town, which I'm not going to say the name of, but they have giant wings, and they pride themselves on like, hey, a giant wings, and I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't order <laughs> barbecued chicken. Like, I want a wing. I don't want a giant wing. Um, the Shuck and Shack has big wings, but they're a normal. They're just like the whole wing. It's not yes. a huge version. It's just the whole thing. We went to Hell's Kitchen the other night and got wings. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen's good, too. It's great. Um, so I'll, I'll wing it up anywhere, but it, they, they got to be good. Um, fuck, there's a place called Fork and Cork that's in town. That uh, Actually, Guy Fieri just did a diner's drive-ins and dives did over he? there. And uh, that place is bomb. Great burgers, great wings, but they're duck wings. Have you had those? No, I've not. I mean, I've had duck Wing confit poutine before. Oh, so they have that over there as well. Yeah. Um, they have that <clears> over there, and they have duck wings, and the duck wings are really good. And then there's dark wing duck as well. Yeah. So. so Shut the fuck up. Jamie. Uh, we can hear our producer, Jamie, <laughs> laughing. Don't you laugh at a comedy show, you fuck. <laughs> uh, but no, this, this really is. So this the bowl season is my favorite, and then so is March Madness. Because there's so many games on at once that it's just like, all right, great. Let's just fucking throw, you know. 40 bucks on everything see what happens yeah. and get weird obviously the big on. games i go really really big on right um but the little games i just like something on in the background where i'm like eh, is buffalo gonna hit that <laughs> over of 57 and a half you know where i don't really know but i kind of know and i'm like yeah man i think they'll fucking do it um so <coughs> here we are we did this show last year and we got trashed um we're already drinking now i uh i'm testing out a, a whiskey here yeah uh, I got a whiskey in a solo cup, and then uh, obviously you get backups on backups on backups of uh, White Claw. Because I'm a white man drinking White Claw. Two is one and one is none. You bet it is. You bet it is. You know who said that? Jesus. Albert Einstein. Mm. So Very close. A lot of people say that they're the same person. <laughs> yeah, they Both could be. done great things for this, this earth. Well, there's so. supposed to be a second coming of Jesus. You don't know that it wasn't Albert Einstein. It's like coming on your face. <laughs> Hello, man. I have been drinking today. Uh, really tapping into the old. <laughs> What's that? Is that the Christmas spirit? Yeah. The uh, Christmas spirit's <clears throat> running through my. It my bums me out vein. so much. I know it does. Seeing you happy just makes me so angry. Well, I love it. I love it, Daniel. Um, Don't use my government name. First and foremost. <laughs> We're brought to you by mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros. So we're doing all our bets. We do all our bets for the uh, holidays. We, we do them all year long on mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to give a shout out to uh, my bookie. Their mobile site mm-hmm. is a look. You, you typically, if you're like me, you're in the fucking toilet mm-hmm. hiding bets from your wife. She doesn't watch the show. 
So it doesn't really matter. I can say whatever I want. Um, I do what I want, Dan. I'm, I'm, you know, you'll sit on the shitter and just start going through fucking spreads and then start betting on people in the right. bathroom. Their mobile site is excellent. It's not a uh, hard top or desktop soft top sitch. No. You, you can, can go you go mobs. Straight mobs, straight toilet, be by yourself, and then pick these overs or unders. Uh, you can bet with us or against us on mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros. And as always, a thousand dollars doubles your deposit. You doubles your deposit up to a thousand dollars. I think as long as you haven't deposited before. Right. We deposit um <clears throat> at the beginning of uh uh, the year, and then we don't cash out till March. There's been some questions of like, hey man, what's what's the cash out stitch like? I don't know, man. We bet hundreds of times throughout the year, so like, yeah. I I only put money in in late July, right before because that's when all the futures start for college yeah. football, NFL, all that stuff. And then I I typically don't pull it out until after March Madness. So I still haven't pulled it out from last year. Yeah, you left yours roll. You're but I, you're you've got a fucking hefty amount in there. A little bit, yeah. I'm yeah. not uh, I'm not a pull out kind of guy though. You're not. I am. I buy shit with it. Um bought a fucking car last year. So I'm not gonna not gonna brag, but I just did. Um we won a lot last year on Clemson. Yeah. Look, we might win a lot on Clemson this year. That was our preseason pick. Um I also like fully fully uh full disclosure here. We'll get we'll give it a fully. Um <clears throat> Put some money down on Ohio State before the year started. I always do. I always do. Uh, same thing. If the lottery is over $100 million in my city, I bet on that too. So you're welcome. It's a little something about me. But uh, that Ohio, now if Ohio State wins, fuck you, dude. I might set your car on fire, buy you a Lamborghini because I know you hate them and they're gay, put a gay man inside, and, and, and wrap a million around his dick and just, and just let you go to town. We'll see what happens. It would be great. I'm open to new experiences. I know you are, which is great. That's a yeah. great thing about you. Not really the car so much, but the guy. Wow. <laughs> Give him a little test drive. Yeah. Put him in third. Hope he <laughs> doesn't turd. Uh, nobody says that. That's not a thing. Um, no, you went too far. Pushed it. I pushed it. Uh, but let's let's get to the uh, spreads, shall we? Last, last year we did this show. We got fucking rocked. We were at uh, Stateside Vodka. Yep. Jesus Christ. It was a crazy show. Uh, first and foremost, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read the ESPN ones. You're gonna read them off of mybookie.com. So that way we can see how much the line is actually moved mm-hmm. and what people are betting. First up, uh, this is the Thomas Robinson Stadium. Mm. Uh, this, it's this the, the makers. Ma- the makers wanted <laughs> Bahamas Bowl. <laughs> The Makers Wanted Bahamas Bowl. Pretty much if you've got 12 bucks and you can think of a name, you can get yourself a bowl game. Oh, it's so good, man. <laughs> I Look, the thing about this is this actually just sounds what the whole company decided on. Like, hey, man, what do you want to do? Uh, well, Makers Wanted Bahamas Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Why not? Is, that, is that what we're doing? Makers Wanted <laughs> it. Yeah. What do we name it? Uh, I don't know. Makers Wanted Bahamas Bowl. So we can take yeah. our whole family there and it's get like, up. It's like... Uh, uh, working title, <laughs> but they just left that as the title of the film. <laughs> like, all right, fuck it. All right, cool, man. Makers wanted Bahama Bowl, so yeah, look, we're doing the Makers wanted Bahamas Bowl. I like how it's on December twentieth too, so you know all their employees. Like, this is going to be a company trip for them. Yeah, to Nassau, um, they're all going to rage because they they have off. It's right before Christmas. Um, the only problem is it's Buffalo seven and five versus Charlotte seven and five. Spread here is six and a half. Is that what you got? Yeah. Um, look, man, <clears throat> Buffalo is gritty. I like their toughness. I like their tenacity. I like their testes on that bull. I'm going to be taking Buffalo on this one. We're just doing this for the show, right? No, we're doing it. I'm doing it in real life. You can do whatever <clears throat> you want, Dan. I'm not your fucking dad. I'm not betting this. Really? I think Buffalo will win. Why, why would I bet Buffalo versus Charlotte? Yeah, because out of the junkiness of it, dude, there's some Buffalo fans out there that want answers, and I'm giving them to them. I'm giving you Buffalo plus at minus six and a half. I'm doing it. I say they go fucking hard in this game down in Nassau. I think they're probably a better team than fucking Charlotte is. I bet you two two players. I'm not saying I don't know from which team get suspended because they missed curfew and got fucked up in, in Nassau. Maybe you know, <coughs> snuck on over to Atlantis. Maybe had a fish fry before that. She got rocked. A fish fry, huh? Yeah. That's uh that's big in the Bahamas. Oh, are they Catholic down there? 
No. Fish fry on Friday, that's uh, it's it's a big Catholic thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can't eat meat on Fridays. No, you can uh you can you can go to fish fries every day of the week there. They're great. They're in town. Wouldn't recommend going that late. Kind of a seedy area, but god damn yeah. it, they're good, man. You don't want to get stabbed over fish. No. If you can help it. You know what was weird? Uh so when 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 I was there last time and I went I went to a fish fry because they were like, Hey, you gotta get out of the, the resort and go yeah. to a fucking real authentico experience. My fucking meal was ninety five dollars. At a goddamn fish fry. That seems excessive. The whole menu is like that. Ninety five dollars for fried fish in yeah. the Bahamas? And it should be like beer. six bucks. I got like a beer. That's what I thought. You roll in there? No, man, forget it. I think they know that it's like, hey man, if you want to get out of here, like Cool. Yeah. This is the, this is your only spot <clears throat> left, um, and now that the rest of the islands destroyed, can fr- forget it, dude. The, or the islands, yeah, they'll jack those prices up to one ten probably. Yeah, I gotta say, Buffalo will probably win this game. There you go, pretty Dan. Hand, pretty handily. There's the Christmas spirit really ringing through your pee <laughs> hole. Uh, this is December twentieth. Next up, we got the Tropical Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. Man, that's a lot of words. That's nice. Tropical Smoothie Cafe. What what is that? Tropical thing? Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. Where do you put that on a jersey? That's a, that's that's. Uh, they put the logo <laughs> of the sponsor on all the jerseys. Yeah, it's five five fucking words. Tropical Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. That's an Atlanta Georgia based company, by the way. Is it really? <clears throat> well, yeah. They're playing this uh, game in Frisco, Texas. That's uh, where are they playing at the Cowboys practice facility or something? Probably. Uh, this is Utah State against Kent State. Uh, line is uh, Utah State minus seven. Ooh. Seven's too much. That's what I say. I'm going Kent State on this. <laughs> you know, here's the weird thing about Kent State. They're one of those teams that scheduled, like, every powerhouse Division One school. Yeah. Like, They've played like Auburn, Alabama. You think they give a fuck about Utah State? No, all they really care about is not getting shot by the National Guard again, I think. Well, a long every time day's ago, a Dan. gift for them. It really is. Isn't After it? that, yeah. Ah. As long as the National Guard doesn't show up and start shooting people, they're pretty, they're pretty content. You know what else is a gift? <laughs> uh, playing in the Tropical Smoothie <laughs> Cafe Frisco Bowl. Frisco's not a terrible Ooh. place to be in the wintertime. At least it won't be too fucking cold there. Well,. Tickets are as low as $33 right now. If you're oh. thinking about popping over to Frisco, um, that'll be on ESPN2 on the 20th. Saturday is December 21st. Uh, big one. The New Mexico Bowl. Uh, That's not very creative. No. In a lot like the that. state of New Mexico sponsored the bowl game? I guess. Uh, the other thing about it, though, like, because you, you, you look at this, they have a, an uncreative name like. New Mexico Bowl. However, their stadium is the most creative name I've ever heard. Dream Style Stadium? <laughs> what is their fucking dream catchers? No, they're on mushrooms all the time. Yeah, yeah. either way. They got too fucked up and couldn't name the bowl game because they spent so much time naming the stadium. That's Oof. what happened. Uh, San Diego State is 9-3. Is, uh, and three. Central Michigan is 8-5. and five. This is San Diego State minus 3.5. I got San Diego State on so that So do one. I. I love them. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a point here and, and knock this down to two and a half. Uh, if you're looking for tickets to Dream Style Stadium, they're going as low as twenty five dollars. So save up for Christmas, kids. Uh, next up, ooh, the FBC Mortgage Cure Bowl. Ooh, that's in Orlando as well. Uh, ooh, Orlando. It's gonna it's, be a at busy week at Orlando City Stadium. It's not at. The World Camping Bowl. Yeah, no shit. So this is Liberty against Georgia Southern. This is uh, Georgia Southern minus six. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever loved the game this much in my life. I don't know about Liberty. <laughs> um, Liberty, look, I, I, you'll lump them in. I'll lump them in with Georgia Southern, to be honest with you. They're one of those teams that, that has popped up. We've made fun of them on our show this year. Yeah. Where they'll pop up and play some, you know, top 25 team. And you're like, yo, where the f- I don't even know where the fuck Liberty is. Yeah. Um, so both of these teams, this is why this might be a little more difficult. Both of these teams play powerhouse schools. They're both seven and five for a reason. The five is <clears> not because they were shitty in their own divisions. It's no. because they were playing. Yeah, yeah. They were taking the money of Alabama. I mean, they like played that. BYU, UVA, yep. Syracuse. They played some not division two schools oh yeah 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 
Yeah. Um, so I'll uh, I'll go Georgia Southern though. At one point, that was a college consideration of mine. Yeah, I'm good with that. I like their name better. Yeah, better than Liberty. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. That's why. Uh, next up, you got SMU. Finally, a team that was at one point part of the top 25 against Florida Atlantic. Ah, this is the Sherabundi Boca Raton Bowl. Ah, that's nice. That's a nice uh, name, yeah. Boca Raton means uh, mouse rat in Spanish. So Does it really? It does. Um, here's <clears> the weird <throat> thing about this game. Is this, I, I looked at this and I was like, why is it fucking spread so low? Yeah. SMU is in the top 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, their quarterback is, is uh, probably playing for a, a draft pick here at this yeah. point. It is actually in FAU. It's at their stadium. How did they swing stadium? that? I don't know. It's a fucking home game. So... Otherwise, I would have jumped all over this, but I'm I'm still going to. I'm just going to buy a point and take it down to two and a half. I'll still go three and a half um, for FAU. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm taking uh, uh, SMU. SMU, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I like that that pick a lot. So we'll see. Um, next up is the oh Camilla Bowl or Camilla Bowl. Not really sure which one. I don't know how you say that word. <clears throat> Not either. C A M E L L I A. You bet. And the, and this is being played at the Crampton Bowl in Montgomery, Alabama. Oh God, none of that sounds good. None of it. Uh, tickets are as low as eighteen dollars right now. Well, that is take the whole family for under a hundred bucks. <laughs> you could take an illegal immigrant family of twelve for uh, for that for yeah. under a hundo. Uh, this is Florida International six and six powerhouse. Against Arkansas, Arkansas State seven and five, and this is Arkansas State minus three. Yeah, well, <sighs> I have no idea. I love Arkansas State in this game. Okay, great. I've I'll go always, with that. <laughs> always loved Arkansas State in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, since he- <laughs> anybody you talk to on the streets, will people on the streets are you. talking a lot about Arkansas State. They will the tell you, man, what is with Ross Patterson in Arkansas just- State? Yeah. Fucking will not shut up about Arkansas State. He loves them. Loves them. He wants to put them on some uh, little butter on that bread and just and just call them Doppy. Yeah. He loves them. Why not? I love, I love Arkansas State. I'm a huge, huge fan of this game at minus two and a half. By a half a point on this, uh, kids. And that, that's what I'm telling you. Finally, we got a big game here. We got a big game. Uh, later on that evening... We got the uh, Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl. This is Boise State's 12-1 against Washington. Uh, Washington is minus 3.5 in this. This is also uh, Peterson's last game, Chris Peterson. Is it? Yeah, it is. Sad. Sad. Sad but true. Metallica said that. (laughs) Where's he going? Great question. (laughs) Great question. A lot of people are axing that right now. And uh, I get a couple guesses. He said he needed to recharge the batteries. Um, He's going to take a year? Might take a year and then come back or, uh, you know, hop on down to uh, Cowboys if Urban Meyer doesn't take that gig. Maybe. There's a lot of Boise State players there. A lot. And uh, Kellen Moore is actually their offensive coordinator right now. <clears throat> yep. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh,. This one breaks my heart, Dan. You know my rules, right? App State? Nope. Always bet on Boise. Oh, yeah. This Always bet on Boise. This is the one time that you cannot bet on Boise. It's Peterson's last game. Washington's a pretty goddamn good team. And uh, I think they're going to send him out on a victory. So I'm going to buy a point and take this down to two and a half. I'm going to take Washington. I'm taking Boise State. Ooh. And the reason is because of the Vegas flu. I think they have... I think there's going to be more celebration going on with Washington because it's Peterson's last game. They're in Vegas. Yeah. I think they're going to get a little loose. All right. Uh, this one is a big game. This is a, this is a big, big game now. Um, a lot of people at home probably saying to themselves, hey, man, I typically wouldn't sit around with my, my pants down and jack off to the Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl, but I am now. Congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm going with Washington. I think, I think they sent him out with a biz name, dude. Peterson. Everybody pulls out all the trick plays, too. You know he used to coach <clears throat> Boise State, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So just putting that little bee in your bonnets. Uh, who's our next sponsor, Dan? Kill Cliff. CBD.com. Yeah, it's right there on the desk. God damn it. It's Best really in the biz, isn't very it? Very tasty. Very tasty. Best in the biz. 25 <laughs> milligrams of CBD in that bitch. No THC in there whatsoever. Um, that means you can test for whatever you want for it. Uh, look, man, I drink this shit every night. I use my own promo code there, too. Um, I, I drink one every night before bed. Yeah. Like every single night. Every single night. Yep. Um, now that they got the grape out, uh, they've got grape and what, what's the other? Mango favorite? tango. Mango tango. I haven't had the mango tango. The grape is of grape, all time. Grape is the best. <clears throat> grape, always grape. The best. Anything is always the best. Purple drink, yeah, yeah. Massive, massive fan of them. Um, look, the beauty of them is if you use the promo code Drinking Bros, go to KillCliffCBD.com. Promo code Drinking Bros. You get twenty percent off a case and free shipping. Knocks that shit down to like three ninety a can. Same as like the fucking is a can of Monster except you get CBD in it, bro. And they ship it right to your house. Nobody's got You can't just walk into a, a grocery store and buy a drink with CBD in it right now. I don't think so. No. You can't. You can buy it online, though. Yeah. Ship it right to your goddamn house. Love them. I, I literally can't say enough about KillCliffCBD.com and the promo code Drinker Bros. It's the best. I use my own promo code, and I drink one can of this before fucking bed every yeah. night. Uh, it's great. It's great. Almost as great as this next game. You know, Appy State is in there. Yep. In this mother of alcohol. You know, I, Appy State's in this mock way. <clears throat> I, st- I never understand why ranked teams play shitty teams in bowl games. I mean, I guess it's what we talked about last week with the trying to get more exposure or play teams you haven't played before and all this other horse shit. But I don't know. I want to see good teams play good teams. Well, you know, there's a special story to this one. This is App App State against uh, UAB, and this is the R plus L carriers, New Orleans Bowl, huh? Look at that. That's a fun R and L. I don't know what thing. that means. I don't need. I don't either. Is that like a fucking delivery service of some sort? Release and and launch. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Release and let go. Yeah, that's probably it. Right. No, I have no idea. Nah, it's probably two no dudes' idea. last names. Uh, could be. Or, or it could not be. Um, look, App State is favored by 17 in this one. Uh, this is a fun story for uh, the folks at UAB. Yeah. Because the program was taken away. Now they've got it back. These guys play with a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of gusto. I think 17 is too much. It's way too much for any kind of game like this. I mean, <clears throat> if this was some shitty D2 school, maybe. Because it's, it's not like App State's a powerhouse. They're a good team. They've been in the top 25 for the last, like, eight weeks. Yeah. Um, but 17 points is a lot, especially when the, the over-under is only 47 and a half. Yeah. That's, that's crazy to me. So I'm going to go. Uh, I'm sorry, Appy State. Shit, man, this is back-to-back. I'm betting against my two faves here, Boise State and App State. Yeah, I agree, though. Sorry, that's man. That's too many points. Um, <laughs> and I think uh, UAB, since they're right over the, you know, state over there, they're mm-hmm. going to travel over there and see their boys. Yep. Uh, next up, we got the uh, Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl. Whew. Man, nothing gets me harder than the Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl, Dan. Who who goes Bad Boy for their lawnmower company name? Take that. Take that. It'd be sweet if Puff Daddy owned it. <laughs> I'm looking up Bad Boy Mowers. Because it's Bad Boy Mowers for life. <laughs> we ain't... Ch- ch- Go in nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. It's bad boy mowers for life. Oh, man. Good luck getting that song out of your head the rest of the day. Well, I'm going to use a bullet probably. What's a Gasparilla bowl? What's a, what's a Gasparilla? Anybody um, know? I'm looking that word up now. Yeah. Is that a gorilla with gasoline dumped all over it? Gasparilla. Is it a place maybe? Eh, who knows? Hold on. This is at uh, Raymond James <clears throat> Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Um, oh, it's named after a legendary pirate, Jose Gaspar. Oh, you know what's fun about that? This is where the Buccaneers play. Yeah, it's a pirate-themed The whole thing's thing. a fucking pirate theme. I love it. Maybe somebody will lose an eye and have to wear an eye patch for I the rest of their life. This is flirty. This is UCF against Marshall. We are. Um, man, are they flying to this game? Too soon or no? Okay. Who, Marshall? <laughs> um, this is UCF minus 17. Um, look, man, this is in US, UCF's backyard. 
uh, you're going to need McConaughey to, to coach this Marshall team. To yeah, win. unfortunately, he's a teacher at Texas now, so that'd be yeah. a conflict of interest. I think. Hey, man, we are. Did you see him make that girl cream her fucking jeans on campus? Yeah. Uh, All he did was campus? point. Well, she was going bug fuck. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, and he just goes, hook him. Hook him. Um, she fucking just peed her jeans, dude. Man, that guy's living his best life, isn't he? He's on. Yeah, he's doing it. Oof. Whatever it is. If you could switch with any man, he's up there. He's top five for sure. Like The Rock, I wouldn't switch with The Fucking Rock. <clears throat> no, he works too much. No, it's too fucking too much. Too much. Too much bullshit with The Rock. Even it's, I, I, And look, I like The Rock. I like his social media. I enjoy him as a human being. But yeah. I do not want to live his fucking life. No. Like I look at his social media every day, and it's the opposite <laughs> for me. Like Other people are like, oh, you're inspiring or this is motivational. I look at it like, holy shit, I'm exhausted watching your yeah. fucking social media. I don't want to get up at fucking 3 a.m., eat 18 pounds of fucking egg whites. Yeah, he has to eat and work out and, and work all day. All of it no, is good, miserable. Man. All of it. Uh, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy half a point here and, uh, and take UCF. What are you doing in this bitch? Um, yeah, I'm good with that. I'll, I'll take them at 16 and a half. Uh, Christmas Eve. Aloha. Oh, mahalo. When you watch the uh, Sophie Hawaii, Oai, sorry, I did correct myself, Oai Bowl, I want you to think of every white Ooh. neighbor. Marshall's UCF went up to 17 and a half. Ah, I'll have to buy a point then. Yeah. Um, I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> by the way, UAB App State went to uh, 16 and a half, by the way. Dan, you're fucking slacking, dude, because you're, you're texting girls and shit. Um, no, I'm fucking looking at I'm looking shit up. I'm looking up Gasparilla Bowl. So what needs to <laughs> happen here is. For me to bet all of these and post these in Drinking Bros Sports. Mm-hmm. By the way, if you're not on Drinking Bros Sports on Facebook, sign up, join, dance with us, do the whole shit. I'll post all of these bets so you know this is real, that I'm actually bet on this shit. Um, with this game, the uh, Sophie Oaibo, um, I want you to think of every white neighbor who's ever said um, mahalo to you after coming back from uh, vacation in Hawaii. Um, now, this game is is kind of unfair because this is in... It's a home game for OIE. Yeah. Because OIE is playing uh, BYU in this game, and it's BYU minus one and a half. There's no way the proud people of OIE lose on Christmas Eve in front of all their family and friends in their backyard to a school that does not believe in Christmas. <laughs> they don't not BYU. believe in I don't th- do OIE. Mor- do Mormons not believe in Christmas? I don't think that's true. Isn't it something else? <laughs> they don't like caffeine and shit. I don't know about Christmas. Wow. I feel like they probably celebrate Christmas. I feel like they don't. <laughs> I feel like more men don't celebrate Christmas. Um, there's no way OIE is losing this game, man. Um, and the over under 63. I'm going to take that, too, because it's Christmas Eve. This game's on at 8. At yeah. this point, everyone will be uh, <laughs> been sick of their families and shit. So, like, yeah, dude, I'm betting the shit out of this game. Let me check. OIE. What the fuck? Uh, a point and a half. It's there's no fucking spread for this. It could be gone now. It could be a pick. Oh no! Here we go. It's plus two. People are everybody's Ben on uh, BYU. BYU and not Hawaii. I'm gonna take a yeah. I'll take Hawaii in that. Yeah, at minus <clears> two. It's a home game. Yeah. How can you lose that on Christmas Eve, man? At plus it's Christmas. Two. God damn it. Um, now Christmas Day is off. That is uh, an all NBA day. Yeah. Um, I would tell you about NBA games, but that's just you're just a fucking junkie at that point. Yeah, that's a problem. And Christmas games in particular are usually fucking blowouts, dude. One team never wants to be there. Usually it's the Lakers, and they never want to fucking play. They never win on Christmas. Um, they might this year because LeBron is LeBron, but probably not. Who is playing on Christmas? The usual yeah. bullshit, dude. It'll be Lakers. There's like <clears throat> five games that day. Yeah, I'll look it Lakers, up. Lakers, like Warriors or somebody like Warriors Rockets, which is not a real game anymore. Nope. Uh, Celtics Raptors. Mm, it's okay. No, no, Celtics win that game. Bucks Seventy Sixers. That's a good game. Yep. Clippers Lakers. That's a great game. Ah, provided everybody's healthy. That's a good game. And they decide to play. Yeah. It's Christmas. <laughs> 
And then Pelicans Nuggets, which is a good young team matchup, I guess. We don't. I don't think it looks like Nuggets Zion, are good. Pelicans are shit. It looks like Zion's not going to be back until and Lonzo January. Ball, they benched sometime. Lonzo Ball yesterday. Yeah, can't shoot. No, um, Louisiana Tech is up next. Uh, day after Christmas against Miami. Um, this is an independent stadium, Shreveport, Louisiana. This is the Walk Ons Independence Bowl. Yeah. It's a terrible name to name a college football bowl game. Walk Ons. Walk Ons. Uh, this is uh, Miami minus six and a half. That's a restaurant, apparently, <clears throat> in Louisiana. Don't do it. Can we name a fucking bowl game, Drinking Bros Podcast? Like, how much is that to name a bowl game? Let's it's see. a shitty one. Why can't we just name a shitty bowl game? Why don't we just have our own bowl game? Yeah. Isn't there just legalities of it? And then my charity gets involved. Which Fathers uh, Without Fathers Boundaries? Without Boundaries, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> where I mentor young sorority girls. Uh, ages 21 and uh, to, to 19. Um, and I don't want... Again, that's my... I don't know. That's my heart. I don't want anything to get involved <laughs> with uh, my charity. So... What's the what's the bid? What I'm looking. We, what are we looking at here? I'm looking. Uh, I mean, for a major one, obviously that would be out of reach for us. But yeah, just a <laughs> shitty one. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I can't find any real prices anywhere. Yeah, it'd be great to know, wouldn't it? If walk-ons, if whatever the fuck that is, can get a goddamn bowl game, Drinking Bros podcast can get a bowl oh, game. Oh, hold on. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got some some numbers here. Um, that's fine. I'll re- I'll read this. Uh, look, Miami is going through some. Uh, they've gone through a hard year. They're six and six. They're playing in the Walk Ons Independence Bowl. Tickets are as low as twenty five dollars in this game. And uh, Tate Martell keeps leaving the team. Do you know? Yeah. That? I don't know what his deal is. I don't know. He transferred from Ohio State. He had a real big dick there, mm-hmm. and then uh, told Justin Fields not to swing and miss. Well, Justin Fields will be at the. Heisman ceremony this Saturday and also playing in the college football playoffs while you transfer to Miami to sit on the bench behind two guys who fucking suck. So uh, I will, however, (laughs) because this is Louisiana Tech, and I know this is a home game for the people of fucking Shreveport, but uh, taking Miami in this one. Yeah, I'm good with Miami. Um, The the cheapest one I could find was $300,000. 300 k Yeah. What bowl is that? It was the, the the Bahamas Bowl. Really? Fuck you. That's the best one. So if we spent 300 k we would get, like, tickets to the game and all yeah. the VIP shit. Ah. Uh, Maybe. Great. Go Might to be Atlantis and just rock balls, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. There's a Nobu in there, too, man. What's a Nobu? That sushi joint. Oh, get the, it's fuck the out best of sushi on the planet. Is it? Uh, whew, boss, I can light up a fucking Nobu, bro. It's minus six now. Came down from six and a half. So people are betting uh, La Tech in this one. No way. No way Miami loses this game. No way. I would certainly hope not. That would be very embarrassing for them. I want a fucking bowl game named after me, though. God damn it, that'd be great. Would they we let us go- do drinking bros, you think? Drinking bro, the drinking bros pull your pants down bowl, <laughs> or something stupid like that. The squeeze hard bowl, yeah. drinking bros squeeze hard squeezer bowl. bowl. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, that would be fucking awesome. I don't think you I get would... to name the bowl game; you just get to name the sponsor. So the Independence Bowl is still be the Independence Bowl; It'll just be the drinking bros Independence Bowl. What was the, what was the Bahamas Bowl again? That was three hundred k. Hang on, is, yeah. is it just it's the Bahamas just the Bahamas, Bahamas bowl? bowl? Yeah. Oh yeah, so it'd be the drinking bros Bahamas Bowl. Yep. Be fucking rad, dude. <clears throat> God damn it. I don't what what's surprising to me is that a six point four million listeners, right? Mm-hmm. We don't have anybody who's like a fucking billionaire. There's gotta be somebody out there. No, they would have hit us up. You would think so, yeah. They would have hit us up by now and said, Hey man, all the stupid shit you guys want to do all the time that requires money, I'll just finance it. Who cares? Yeah. Like let's just do it. We need a Frank from It's Always Sunny. Yes. Yes, we just do. To do man. weird shit all the time. But just it, somebody who just doesn't care, man. Like I look at Bill Gates. And he's wasting his money building, like, fucking fresh water and clean water over in Africa. And, like, doing shit with schools? Fuck that. Boo! 
Name a fucking bowl game, Bill. <laughs> Loser. Man, we could be raging in the Bahamas eating yeah. fish fries. Big time. Going to <clears throat> Nobu. Instead, you're building clean water for Africa? Way to go, loser. God damn it, man. If Steve Jobs was here right now. Oh, he would be spending money on like butthole rejuvenation clinics man, and bowl games. And we're that's really pretty much boned it. here. If you're if you're a drinking bro at home, <coughs> I know you don't exist, but just in case, maybe you just hit the lottery. Maybe you hit that three hundred and fourteen million dollar lottery yesterday. Hit us up. Let's let's do a bowl game. Let's do some other fucked up shit. Uh next up we got Pittsburgh. Seven and five against Eastern Michigan. Uh, this is the Quick Lane Bowl. That's cute. What's Quick Lane? Uh, it's the it's the fast lane. It's the Ho- it's the Hova Lane, H O V Lane. Uh, everybody knows what Quick Lane is. Quick Lane is a tire company. Yeah, you betcha. I can smell them from here. I can smell those tires from the, the tires. Quick, quick Lane Bowl right now. Ah oh, shit. Uh, this is Pittsburgh minus eleven. This is pl- this is this is actually Ford Field, Michigan. Dome game. Uh, I'm Pittsburgh all day on this. Yeah, I don't know who Eastern Michigan is. I know who they are. The problem is, you know, they're putting a little too much stock into. Oh, it's a Michigan home game for Michigan. No, Pittsburgh is is still going to beat them. Yeah, for sure. So that's uh, uh, minus eleven. Uh, next up, Friday, December twenty seventh. Mark your calendars. We got the Military Bowl presented by. Northrop <clears throat> Grumman. Yeah, let's keep that fucking military industrial <laughs> complex going. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Northrop Grumman is one of the companies that uh, finances people like Lindsey Graham's campaigns. Really? <clears throat> and the reason he doesn't want to allow, or he didn't want to allow people to be able to sue the federal government. Got it. And sh- so. Uh, this but it is, is what it is. This is in Annapolis. Uh, and this is UNC, North Carolina. They've they've had some ups and downs against Temple. This is actually a decent game, man. Temple's a fucking scrappy team. Um, this is UNC minus five and a half. I'll take UNC on this one. Hmm. I don't know about that. Breaking news. Uh, Appalachian State just lost their coach. Really? Where's he going? Um, he didn't get fired, keeping him in the top 25. No, he, uh, he moved on to <laughs> higher... Pastures. Um, so uh, Sean Clark is the App State intern coach. Uh, I, I didn't take App State anyway, so fuck it. You know, I'm going I'm to take Temple in this game. Um, Eli Drink Drinkwitz. What the fuck? Oh, Drinkwitz is going to be the next coach at Missouri. Hmm. That's a big boy step up to the SEC. Welcome, dude. <coughs> Good luck with that, that hellhole. Um, yeah, man, I uh, I'm I'm going UNC. You're, you're taking Temple in this one. Yep, squeeze up, brother, squeeze up. Uh, this next one, man, is is actually pretty fascinating. The New Era Pinstripe Bowl. I know this one. This is at Yankee Stadium. They play this at Yankee Stadium every yeah. year. And all I keep thinking every time I see this every year is, why would you let these two shitty teams fuck up Yankee Stadium, which is amazing. It's the best field ever, and you're going to let two shitty college football teams fuck it up. Michigan State six and six against Wake Forest eight and four. Line is Michigan State minus five. Who you got, D'Anthony? Michigan State. Yeah, I'm taking Michigan State as well. Uh, I think they win this by. It's down to four and a half though. Down. Both were <laughs> ranked at some point in the year. Both ended up being pretty shitty. Yeah, it's down to what? Four and a half. Ooh, I'm definitely taking that one. People are betting on Wake Forest. Uh, next up, we got the Academy Sports Outdoors Texas Bowl. Whew, you guys were waiting for this one. Glad we could bring it to you here on Drinking Bros Sports. No one is going to play defense in this game. I can't believe the over-under is 53.5 in this. No, it's crazy, right? Uh, so Oklahoma State is 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 ranked. They're hanging on against uh, at the 25. They're 8-4 and four against Texas A&M at 7-5. and five. Spread is Texas A&M by minus 7. I'm actually going to take Oklahoma State in this game. I think they're just going to chuck, dude. You know? I'm trying to... <clears throat> this is something I've been meaning to look into for a while. But I really wonder how Oklahoma teams do in Texas and vice versa. 
I don't know. This is in uh, this is in Houston. This is where the yeah Texans play. I don't think it matters. It's a pretty close state. I'm saying Oklahoma State, and I'm saying take that over as well. Yeah, I'm Oklahoma gonna... State might score fifty three on their own. Oak State plus seven plus the over. Yeah, I'm good with that. Taking that shit to the motherfucking bank, son. Uh, next up, USC ended up in the rankings, eh? You don't say. Uh, they're playing Iowa, Greg Dulesky, uh, in the San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl. The whale's vagina. Man, that is a lot going on there. That is another six-word uh, six word patch that you got to wear in your uniform there. Iowa's favored in this, minus one and a half against USC. Yeah, I'm taking Iowa in this. Yeah, I will too. One and a half is pretty even in this one. You're welcome, Craig Dulesky. Uh You're welcome, Craig. Say thank you. Uh, yes, I'm inside your car. I can fucking hear you talk. Say thank you. Um, next up, we've got the Cheese It Bowl, brother. Been waiting for this. This one. is the one that most people have been waiting to hear about. Every everybody. <clears throat> I would say this. You play. For two reasons, if you're a, co- a collegiate athlete in football, mm-hmm. to go to the college football playoffs or to play in the Cheese It Bowl. <laughs> Is that the two? Yeah. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing else. There's no in between. Uh, Air Force at 10 and 2 stole it this year. Uh, they're playing Washington State. This is Air Force minus two and a half. <sighs> Wrong. Wrong. You're going to tell me that they're not going to – Washington State's not going to chuck it all. Military academies don't do that well in bowl games historically. I'm going with Washington State here. Yeah, I'm going with Washington State as well. Why is that? Plus two point. Who the fuck knows? Because they're not real. They're not real teams. Yeah. And there's a whole – usually by this time of year, there's a whole fucking season of tape on them. Like Army's got that triple option bullshit. They can't throw the ball more than 15 yards downfield. Yeah. So you can plan for that. If you've got two weeks, three weeks to plan for that shit – you can set up your whole fucking defense against it. Yeah, I'm taking two and a half. I'm taking Washington <laughs> State here. And the Cheese It Bowl, I think people get amped up, man, for the Cheese It Bowl. And I don't think it gets enough credit. That's why we're here. You know? To give them more credit? Yeah, dude. I'll be listening to that game in my Raycon headphones from buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. I'll tell you that much right now. They're good. The best. Um, I've actually, I've got some in my pocket right now, I believe. I've got a, I got a fucking, I got two messages yesterday. Hey, man. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, boom. These are the best in the biz. Never leave home without them. No. Uh, Best in wireless. (laughs) Uh, We listened. Everybody was like, hey, man, can we get a headphone hookup? Yes, you can. Uh, Beats by Dr. Dre were too expensive. Raycon decided to come on, dude. Best wireless in the biz. Uh, They fit any and all ear sizes. My wife loves these goddamn things, too. She takes mine. Um, So... Yeah, uh, go to buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. Charge them up. It lasts six plus hours worth of charge, and they get loud as shit, man. Yeah, they're good. Um, for the <clears throat> money, this, this is, I promise you, the best headphones you can get. And uh, at buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros, knocks these bitches down to 55 bucks. Not dude. bad. It's almost like you're stealing them, dude. I love, love these fucking things. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros today and get yourself some wireless headphones. They're amazing. I uh, just cracked open a white claw, Dan. Shit's about to get real. Proud of you. Um, that whiskey's sneaking up on me, too. All right. Memphis. Memphis. Walking in Memphis. Walking with my feet 10 feet off a of boo. Uh, you know I'm a cone head, right? Are you? Big Mark Cone fan. Who sang Walking in Memphis? Walking in Memphis. <laughs> you know that song is about how his car broke down. Mm. And it's if you listen to the song, he's basically giving you directions to the bus station. Well, but there's one thing you need in this life. If you're in Memphis and you, you, your car's broken there's down. There's a way to get the fuck out of yep, Memphis. You yeah. need directions to the motherfucking bus stop because whew, that's a, it's become a rough city these days. Uh, go go to, go see Elvis and then tell me what you think. Go see Grayson and tell me what you think of the rest of that beautiful city. Uh, Memphis is number 17 at 12-1. and one. Playing Penn State, your alma mater. This is the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. This is in Jerry World. Yep. This is Penn State minus seven. Who you got, D'Anthony? I got Penn State. So do I. Rolling them. 
to be safe, uh, because Memphis has been sitting at 17 the entire season, mm-hmm. has not moved <clears throat> whatsoever. Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, buy a half a point, but yeah, I'm taking Penn State all goddamn day in this. <laughs> what, what, what are you? What are you fucking retarded? Hey. <laughs> um. Also, is Mark whew, is Mark Cohn playing at halftime? Do we have any confirmation of that? Yesterday, I don't know. I've ha- I haven't heard uh, of him before. You've never heard the song "Walking." I've heard this. the song, but I didn't know that was the dude's great name. Diddy. It's a <clears> really <throat> great track. Um, you should probably. You have, you have Apple Music, right? I use uh, Amazon Prime mm. Music. <laughs> it's super white trash. Um, swap on over to Apple Music no. and download that song. Put it on repeat. It'll change your life. I, I've heard the song plenty of times. Have you ever, you ever boned to it? No. I, ha- I, have, I have made love to that song. Yeah? Yeah. And it made, in the back of my mind, like it gave me that extra juice I needed, that yeah. it, those extra pushes. Ooh. I understand that. Ooh. We all need that from time Whoa, to time. Walking in Memphis. Like it just really, and then when it's uh, when it breaks down, you know, towards the probably the three fourths of the song through, mm-hmm. and it says, um, "Put on," he goes real low. Yeah, put on my blue suit and I boarded the train, touchdown, and then it fucking ramps back up again. That's <clears throat> when I go from six to midnight, pants wise. Six to midnight. Yep, full bone, dude. <clears throat> I go. I'm kind of flaccid. Still got some form of chub, obviously, because the song's been on. Yeah, and then rocket ship, dude, to the moon. It's Musk. It's mm. all Elon Musk at that point. <laughs> so, what if you just cut that part of the song out, put it on a loop? Would you just be boned up forever? Ever? That'd be mm. dangerous. It'd be fucking dangerous. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with a hard dick. You sure can. You can get a hard dick at GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros. Boner pills. Get them, dude. Um, get them and take them out to this game is over, man. Let's say you see Mark Cohn at halftime, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're like, shit, man. I lost my boners going down because the second half has started. I don't serve booze in there after the third quarter. Yeah. Uh, take a fucking boner pill from GetRoman.com. No doctor visits. Free. Uh, discreet packaging. They ship it right to your house. Get Roman.com forward slash drinking bros. Get those boners on, dude. Even if you got a soft dick, dude. A doctor's not going to tell you what to do. No. Just ship them right to your house. Uh, next up. Oh, this is the game that we were laughing hysterically about last week. Yeah. Everybody was like, Ross, you're such a fucking dick. Whatever, man. I laughed. This, I hate this stadium years. so much. The Camping World Stadium in Orlando. This is the Camping World Bowl. No one deserves to play here more than Notre Dame and Notre Dame fans. <laughs> Notre Dame against Iowa State. Uh, it's Notre Dame minus four. There was a guy in fucking Drinking Bros Sports. Again, sign up on Facebook. It's a private group. Where you talk shit, and you'll see some really fucked up shit on there. It was a guy from Iowa State who wrote a fucking full dissertation on why Iowa State was going to beat Notre Dame. <laughs> in there. And I was like, what? No. What? Um, I'll be honest, though. Notre Dame, you think they're going to be fucking amped to play in the Camping World Stadium? It's down to three and a half. Are you from... Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Shit, people um, are betting Iowa State. Maybe I should go with this <clears throat> fucking dude, man. Maybe. Because that, that, that's the thing. is like If you're Notre Dame, right, and you're playing in the Camping World Stadium Bowl, or the Camping World Bowl, right, and you're number 15 at 10 and 2, um... I mean, at ten and two, man, that's where your obviously your hands should go on a on a steering wheel. Um, but uh, you're not going to a good bowl game. I can tell no. you that. <clears throat> the Camping World Bowl. <clears throat> I don't know if Notre Dame gets up for this. I don't know if their dicks get hard for this. They usually travel really well. That'll they, help. They travel well. But there's also a lot of Catholics in Florida. Um, I don't know though. I mean, Iowa State is not going to travel to this game. But they well. may be the team itself may be more <laughs> into the game. Yeah. <clears throat> um. But at three and a half, I don't know what's Notre Dame's strategy. Are they trying to fucking you? If you're Notre Dame, so here's the deal. Because I was trying to think about this on the, on the drive over. If you're Notre Dame, you have to win this game simply for the fact of if you lose it. That'll extend your bowl game shittiness. Mm-hmm. And then, dude, the CFP is going to look at this. 
If you're Notre Dame, you have to go undefeated then every year. You're not getting in the, in the goddamn playoffs. Um, because you keep bombing out. Yeah. So I mean, if you're independent. Yeah, if you're independent, correct. Unless they join a conference, that's not going to happen because they want that Jesus money on NBC. Jesus money on NBC. Whoa, get him, Matthew. Um, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with that that dude, man, that weird dude who wrote the dissertation on Iowa State and say Iowa State in this no. one. Notre Dame. Okay. Okay. Um, by the way, quick update: fantasy football wise, mm-hmm. drinking bros. I am. <laughs> I'm up by forty going into this final week. It <laughs> looks like I'm going to be in the finals of uh, the the Rudy yep. underdog league. And uh, that helmet, that signed Rudy helmet, could be coming home with us. Do you know how to <coughs> blow up a helmet, yes or no? Oh, yeah. Really? I mean, it's, that, it's a helmet that's like this big. Correct, yeah. So we'll just pack it with M80s or something. Like, you don't have to get creative with that because it's so you small. Don't. Okay. As long, because it's, it'll be contained like that, the pressure will blow it up like crazy. So we just pack it with, like, small explosive fireworks and then twist all the things together. Here's another up. idea. Let me ask you this. This is serious, by the <laughs> way. I had a dream about this. Okay? We get a microwave because we have a huge – we have, like, a 4,000-square-foot studio here yeah. and, like, literally a <clears throat> hundred and something parking spaces if we wanted. Just a fucking giant grassy field behind us. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> is it possible to buy a microwave, put the helmet in the microwave, and then throw, like, 50 hot dogs in there? And then just watch it. What would happen if you put it on, I don't know, fucking 10 minutes? Is there metal in there? Well, it's a helmet. It's a plastic. It's, uh, yeah, there's metal and plastic on the helmet. So it's going to catch on fire pretty fast. <laughs> but That'd be fucking great. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what to do. Because a hot dog would explode probably within a minute. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, two and a half minutes. Yeah. With the hot dogs <clears> exploding <throat> and this helmet fucking burning, I mean, dude. I'd be way down for that because we could shoot it and put it up. Last year, we uh, I burned the jersey. We did it live on Facebook. Yep. Um, the jersey went up really fast. It burned very quickly, it, yeah. It was Jared who was singing the national anthem as we burned it. Yep. Yeah. So uh, hopefully I win that league and I get to keep it and burn it again. Um, yeah, hopefully. Sorry, Kalen Cothran, but I'm not. I'm not sorry. Notre Dame's shitty. Uh, next up, we got Oklahoma versus LSU. Whew. This line, man. It's this too is, much. This is obviously the Peach Bowl, <clears throat> uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the only one I'll allow to have a uh, a name in front of it. I'll eat those goddamn spicy chicken sandwiches all day and all night, anywhere, yep. anytime. And those those pickles, man. It's the two pickles that put it over the top for me. I get a side of pickles. I don't even, I don't even use any sauce on that shit. You don't need it. Nope. The chicken's that good. So is the sandwich. This is obviously in Atlanta, Georgia. We talked about this before. This I was not aware of this spread though. Thirteen this, is a lot of points. Thirteen points for a CFP for LSU, game, man. I think I, you and I, I were honestly, talking before the game, before, before the show started. The <clears> biggest <throat> spread I can remember in a game of this magnitude was Ohio State versus Miami. That was when uh, Dorsett was there, and and McGahey and those guys. That was thirteen and a half that year. Yeah, this is thirteen, man. Do I think LSU wins by two touchdowns? Yes, but that's fucking hard to bet on. What do you What do you think? Last year, Clemson was a ten and a half point favorite over Notre Dame in the first CFP game. Um, I'm go. I'm taking Oklahoma with thirteen, but I, LSU is going to win this game. But there's no way I'm betting thirteen points. So nine out of twelve games that have been double digits. I know. Thirteen. Nine, uh, yeah, nine out of thirteen. Um, have have covered. Man, I watched that Oklahoma game. They look like shit. I, I'm i still going to take LSU here with 13. I think they went by two touchdowns and cakewalk into Maybe. the national championship. Those motherfuckers, man. <coughs> um, congratulations to the SEC biased fucking CFP people. Yep. Fucking assholes. Now we come to this game. Clemson and Ohio State uh, for the Fiesta Bowl. So these are on back to back. Ohio State's the night game. Always, you know, they want the ratings. Obviously, um, I get it. Um, Clemson minus two, and this one, oof. no idea, man. I got Clemson minus two. Um, obviously, I'm obviously taking Ohio State. Yeah, uh, we made it this far. 
Clemson has not played anyone, and uh, I think, I hope. I, I'm not going to say I think. I hope. I hope we fucking win. But I have no idea, man. I, I Again, long conversation with your brother. I don't know. I, they have not played anyone all year. This is the hardest fucking team to pick that I think I've ever we've ever done. In any, look, we've been betting on games for two years now. Every fucking game. Yep. And I can I can genuinely say this is the first time that I am confused because I, I I've never seen a, a team play an all unranked schedule and then get in and they're favorites. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I, they've I, got the history behind them though. Yeah. Over the last they couple do. years, that's the that's the only reason I think. Um, because then it brings to mind so many other questions. If you're Alabama or whoever else, so Ohio, Ohio State, fuck, why schedule anyone then, and just do what Clemson's doing? Why? It's a point. Why? What, what's the point of this? So I, I genuinely don't know. I would say this at home. Um, I am an Ohio State fan. I am betting all of my money on Ohio State. If you're a Clemson fan, or uh, look, go with your heart on this one is what I'm going to say. Uh, this is the one time I actually cannot help you on this yeah. game because I don't. I truly don't know. It would not surprise me to see Ohio State win just because Clemson's never played anyone all year. It would also not surprise me if Clemson fucking was Clemson and mm-hmm. did exactly what they've done the last two years and then smash everybody. And uh, look, this run they've been on has been four or five years. Yep. I don't know how that stops either. So <laughs> we'll see. Something's going to give. Hopefully it's not Ohio State and hopefully it's not uh, Justin Fields MCL. So we'll see. Uh, but I'm going with Ohio State. I, I, you, you can definitely bet against me on this one. I have no idea. I really don't. I've never seen anything like Clemson or, or what to do with the case of Clemson. And I've bet against Ohio State plenty of times and all that other shit. I didn't even think they'd make the CFP this year. But uh, here we are. Um, next up, the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl. Western Kentucky. Some might say the pride of Kentucky against Western Michigan. Two states. <laughs> two geographic parts you know, of the, the states. So in eastern Kentucky is where <laughs> the Creation Museum is. And the, the the head of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Is that real? I don't I know. just made that up. Uh, but the Creation Museum is definitely there. You can go there and like see. It. They have like these statues of people riding dinosaurs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, man, I, this is uh, Western Kentucky minus three and a half in this one. Um, just because I hate the state of Michigan, I'm going to go with Western Kentucky in this. Uh, yeah, I can get down on that. I've at least fucking raged in Kentucky and enjoyed myself. I've been to the Derby a well, couple times. Uh, Kentucky Derby. Amira King is from Kentucky. Oh, he went to prison there too. I don't know where he was served time, but I'm sure. Leavenworth. That's Kansas. Oh, he right. Got arrested Isn't in Leavenworth in Kansas? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Um, I say yet because uh, I could snap at any moment and kill <laughs> kill three or four people on the way home. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that actually. Same here. Same here. I'm gonna live stream it if I do it. But <laughs> yeah, it's Kansas. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Western Kentucky on this one minus three and a half for no other reason other than. Uh, Hey, Michigan. Yeah. That whole state. Fuck them. And I've, I've really fucking played <clears throat> Kentucky, man. Great, great, great bourbon down there. Uh, enjoy the Derby. Uh, Louisville Sluggers were made there. That's it. That's all you need to know. Uh, next up, we've got the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl. Can't wait to have that patch on my person. A lot of people with speech impediments would pronounce this the Franklin. American Mortgage Music City Bowl. Um, but Mike I, Tyson I, would say that. I yeah. won't do it because I'm, I'm classy. This is in Nashville. Nissan Stadium. Tickets are as low as $15 right now. Oof, that's got to be a low. Hot. I think that's a low so far. That's a new low. That's the lowest so far, man. These are two Division One schools, and tickets are $15. That There's no spread on this crazy. game. It's pick them. And a true pick them here. <laughs> Mississippi State's against Louisville. Uh, look, Louisville's trying to recover. Mississippi State's an SEC team, so they're probably overrated. I'm going to go with Louisville. I'm going to go with Mississippi State. Woo! Because the girls are hotter there. Uh, Old Miss, the girls are smoke shows. 
you know in this world it's Arizona State 1, Ole Miss 2, mm-hmm. Texas 3. Probably swing around down to LSU for 4. Yep. And then head on over to Florida for 5. Mm-hmm. They're all hidden in the SEC, by the way, most of the hot girls. Uh, because they don't have a choice. <laughs> there is no winners there, so they've yeah. got to stay in shape all year long. Yep. Is that super <clears throat> machismus? Machismus, yeah. yeah. No, it it's, is. It is. It's just. It is it's what it fact. is. Yeah, it's a fact. If you go to a southern school or Arizona State where the weather is warmer, you don't have a choice but to stay in shape, right? Because you're going to be fucking in rafts, on rafts, pools, all year on long, boats yep. all year long, dude. Uh, Floating down great. rivers. Yeah, it's going to be great. And plus, I mean, the winter is usually a time where you're either cuffed or whatever the fuck. But mm-hmm. for Southern people, all your family's coming into town, so there's new relationship opportunities. God damn right there is. There's that second cousin. Cousins, you uncles. Yeah, you bet. Et cetera. Stepfathers. You're just meeting for the first time. <laughs> um, who you got in this game? Oh, you got Mississippi State. Yep. All right. <clears throat> all right. Uh, next up. We got the Red Box Bowl, Ohio. Nobody, nobody. I'd rather see the Red Tube Bowl. Red Tube is a porn site. Yes, it is. Obviously, Red Tube would be great. Red Box is a DVD. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're they're clinging on to life right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> whenever fuck? I pull up at a gas station and I see somebody just fucking with their pucker hole all squeezed yeah, in, like, hey, do you have the internet? Trying to choose a movie, and I'm like, dude. What you, world? You could have done this on your phone. Yeah, do you need to buy a DVD from a gas station and then return it to said gas station? It's fucked to me, man. Uh, Redbox, this will... Look, we could take over for this bowl. They're not going to fucking sponsor that anymore. It's uh, at Levi's in, Stadium. F- forget that. I don't want to go to San Francisco. No, fuck no. No. We'll, get, we'll, we'll, <clears throat> we'll find our own bowl. Uh, California. Ugh. Seven and five against uh, Illinois. I'll take six this down six. to six, five, and... Bet that. I mean, Illinois is not that great. Cal's, Cal's okay. Boy, this is a team of two shits. Yeah. None of these games are good, dude. What are you talking about? Dan, <laughs> shut your fucking mouth, dude. Walk in Memphis. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take Illinois just because I can't stand Cal. Yeah. At, at seven, this could be a push. If you take this down at six and a half, you'll probably win it. But uh, I, I'll take it at seven. Fuck it. Let's go, Illinois. Fighting Illini. Let's get your shit together. Homeboy. Oh, uh, next up, the Capital One <laughs> Orange Bowl. Now we're getting into some big ins. Oh, are those fake? Are those naturals? We're getting into some big ins. I have noodles. What's that? Uh, it's uh, testicle implants. Ah. <laughs> To make it look a little bigger, yeah, gives me more confidence throughout the day. You want some plums down there, yeah. You want to get rid of those <clears throat> walnuts and trade up for some plums. I mean, it's one thing to have a big dick, but it's another thing entirely to have a giant set of testicles. It's a boss move to have a big set of testicles yeah. with a huge cock. Where you're just yeah. like, Jesus Christ, that's the full package. Yep, that's the that's the entire continental breakfast. Yep, yeah. You didn't just bring back <clears throat> eggs. And that's all you need. There. You got bacon and sausage, too. Yeah, you brought back the whole <coughs> continental breakfast. Maybe a little orange juice. Um, this is <laughs> maybe a little Simpson, dude. <laughs> um, this is a big boy spread, and uh, this is Florida against Virginia. No fucking way. Minus 13 and a half for Florida. I'm, Look, I, I got Virginia 13 and a half. Hold on, let me make sure that's what it is on my bookie. Felipe Franks <laughs> is gone. So Trask is there. It's Trask is. It's up now. to fourteen and a half. Get fucked. Told you, man. Everybody's betting Florida. Look, Clemson smoked the shit out of Virginia. How did Virginia stay at twenty four after losing sixty two to fifteen? Because everybody believes. Well, there's two. Everybody. There's two say reasons. The truth. Yeah. There's two reasons. One, everybody believes that Clemson is the best team in the country. The second part is they wanted Clemson to have a ranked victory on Correct. the fucking schedule. Yeah, one. It's such bullshit. The CFP. Fuck you guys, man. Um. Virginia sucks. This is in this is in Miami, Hard Rock Bowl, Hard Rock Stadium. I'm, I'm uh, what is it now? It's fourteen and a half. Oof, that's a lot of points, man. Yep. Florida's okay. They're not fucking nope. Clemson for Christ's sakes. <coughs> mm, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy a point, take it down to thirteen and a half, and take Florida. Uh, Virginia, that was they were so awful in that Clemson game that it mm. was unbearable to watch. So I don't know how they... I'm taking Virginia at 14 and a half, plus 14 and a half. Smart. 
smart. I don't I don't blame you on that. <laughs> uh, next up, we got the Belk Bowl. Fucking grab your ding dongs. Uh, Virginia Tech against Kentucky. This is in Charlotte. Ooh, tickets are as low as thirty four dollars. It's a pick 'em. It's a pick 'em, brother. Virginia Tech against Kentucky. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll with uh, Va Tech on this one. Same. Um, and a pick 'em. Kentucky is still a basketball school. They're not ready for this fucking smoke, dude. I got Virginia Tech all day, shooting up the place with uh, fifty yard passes. <laughs> 50 yard passes in there. That's all they're going to do. You think so? Long. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got the Tony the Tiger <laughs> Sun Bowl. Are you fist fucking my b hole, dude? Come on. The Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl, we could definitely have a bowl game. <laughs> we could definitely have a bowl game at this point. <laughs> uh, Florida State against Arizona State. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now you found my weakness, you <coughs> motherfuckers of the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. I feel like this should just be a wet t-shirt contest. My weakness. you goddamn right it should. At halftime, there shouldn't be a spread. At halftime, the players should walk off the field, the ladies should take the field, and we should turn this into a wet t-shirt contest and be the country where we're meant to be. God damn it. Fuck. I did not need this to pop up in my queue right now, dude. I am heated, Dan. You all boned up over there? Fucking Florida State Seminoles semen holes against Arizona, the ladies of Arizona State. What do you do here? This is Arizona State minus four and a half. Six and six, seven and five. So evenly matched, so sexy. God damn it, man. I don't know what to do here, Dan. You pick first. <clears throat> I'm going to Arizona State. Okay. They've actually won some games that mattered this year. Florida State has not. No, they haven't. Um, and look, and if I'm ranking these on hotness, Florida State is definitely in my top ten, obviously. It's there, yeah. But uh, it is not It is not number one. That is Arizona State, and that is my heart. That is my life. <laughs> that is my future. Uh, I got, I got Jesse, <clears throat> some, uh, my wife, some uh, parachuting gift certificates for Christmas. Okay. So she does not survive. Um, before the new we'll take a road trip down there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spread her ashes uh, (laughs) probably in the Grand Canyon, then head on up to Arizona State see if I can remarry again. Um, Find find who I'm supposed to be with. You know, shouldn't be hard. Uh, (laughs) Uh, Again, she doesn't listen to the show, so it doesn't really matter. Um, But uh, the ladies of Arizona State too, (laughs) and know that I'm thinking about you always and forever. Amen. Amen. Arizona State. Uh, next up, we got the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Fucking pull your car in, dude. Get, get an oil change. Navy. And a tire rotation. <clears throat> uh, Navy is 23. They're 9-2. and two. Well, Navy's one of the teams that has to play a game between now and then. Yeah. And that's uh, Navy minus 2 against K-State. I can tell you I'm taking this all day <clears throat> long. Kansas State. Kansas State is... Uh, Come They've really. got some big victories this year, man. They beat Oklahoma, right? Yeah. <clears throat> beat Oklahoma. They only lost to Texas by three. Only lost to West Virginia by four. Beat Texas Tech. Just beat Iowa State last week. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with Kansas State. Taking Kansas that. State. You know where this game is uh, played, too? Where it's played? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God Walk damn it. Walking in Memphis. <laughs> Walking with my feet 10 feet off a bill. Um, man, the Coneheads will be out for this one, brother. This is actually in Memphis. Uh, all my Coneheads will be there. Is that what his fans are called? That's what I, that's what I call them. That's what I call myself. Coneheads? Coneheads. Cone. Cone, yeah. Cone. It's Mark Cones. Yeah. Cohen. Ah, Cone. That's his name. Cone. What are you breaking over no, there? No, there's no E. It's just C-O-H-N. H-N? Yeah. I like David Cone, but with an H? Yeah, dude. So I'm a Conehead, All right, brother. fine. So... <clears throat> If if uh, look obviously he's playing the halftime show, um, he's not. He's in the parade. He's the marshal of it, <laughs> of the uh, AutoZone Liberty Bowl parade. Um, he'll be in the car. They're going to come out and rotate the tires during the middle of the parade. Um, lube him up. Might even give him a three inch lift kit on there. Um, <laughs> last year the, the fucking <laughs> last year the halftime show was the four tops. Woo! From the fucking 50s, dude. Sugar pie, honey buns. <laughs> now we're going to uh, 
fucking Mark Cohn, dude. Walk in Memphis. Walk in my feet in my number B. It doesn't say who the halftime it's guy it's, it's, is. Dude, because they're, they're trying to figure out a way to pay Mark Cohn the money he deserves. How much money does he deserve career. exactly? Fucking anything that whatever Memphis has in their coffers. Not much. A lot. Divvy they're spending up. a lot of money on law enforcement there. Uh, divvy it up, man. For uh, for us coneheads, let us fucking rage, dude. It says Whoa. celebrate. This is the fucking call to action for the for the Liberty Bowl. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> celebrate the patriotic spirit of America at our tradition rich bowl game. Plus, you'll be entertained by a spectacular halftime show featuring a nationally known entertainer. Does it say who it is? is. You know exactly who it is, brother. (laughs) Why does it not say who it is, you fucks? Who is nationally known that is that (laughs) It's not Mark Cohen. Yeah. No one knows who he is. They know that one song. There's fucking cone heads everywhere, dude. Whoa, Kitty Mephi. Man, my fellow cone heads unite. We're doing this. There's no way anybody knows who he is. Doing it. Um, That's a big game, too, man. Uh, Tickets are $50 there. Oof. Gaudy. That's too much. Is it? To see Cone? Yeah. Shit. I guarantee you, when they, as soon as they announce them as a halftime show, tickets will skyrocket six fifty apiece. I don't give anyone give a shit about the game. Cone. Cone. <laughs> Cone. Everybody's wearing blue suede shoes. They'll be booing the team when they come back out after halftime. Yep. Get out of here. Get they'll Cone be, back out of here. They'll the train. Um, man, my Cone heads. I'll see you there. What day is this? Today's cone plan. It's uh, New Year's Eve. Oh, well. I won't be there, but um, I'll be with your spirit. <laughs> Look, I can do a cone anywhere. Just New Year's Eve, I get plans. Sorry. Yeah. Super sorry. I'll be at Arizona State looking for my, my second <laughs> wife. Yeah. Really apologize for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, we got the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. Fucking tits. Uh, Wyoming seven and five against Georgia State. This is Wyoming minus seven and a half. Whew. Oh. Who you got, boss? I guess Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the fuck. You do know. Let me see what this is. Georgia um, State's played a lot of people this year, man. Look them up. It's down to seven. Goddamn right it is because Georgia State's played a lot of people this year. All right, let's go Georgia State then. Pull up their schedule. It'll shock you. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by Georgia State. They schedule. played Mark Cohn this year. <laughs> oh, did they play the? F- they played. Uh, I'm surprised that Memphis hasn't adopted him <coughs> as their halftime singer for every game for the basketball basketball team. Is pretty good. They played App State. They got fucking smashed. Yeah. They played Army and Arkansas State, Texas State, well, there's Tennessee. A lot of yeah, they played Tennessee. How they do it again? Tennessee. They beat Tennessee. They beat Tennessee. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. But, I mean. Come on. <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee sucks, dude. Tennessee ended up finishing 7-5, and five, I think. Um, I'm going to take uh, Georgia State here. The points, 7.5. <clears throat> What'd you say? Did it switch? I mean, Wy- Wyoming went. Uh, they played Boise State and it was 20-17. to 17. I think the, the Boise State's quarterback got hurt in that game. I don't care. Well, <clears throat> Mark Cohn doesn't care about you. He doesn't exist. He he does, and he's the greatest fucking artist of our generation, <laughs> this or any generation. Yeah, I'll take Georgia State. Let's do plus it. Plus seven. Uh, is oh, is it seven? Shit, went down Everybody's to seven. Betting now. them. Everybody's yep. betting them, dude. Uh, I might buy a half. I might buy that half point. Take it back up to seven and a half. I'll do that. Uh, Utah versus Texas is the next one, and this is the Valero Alamo Bowl, gas station bowl. Do you remember the Alamo Bowl? I've been to the Alamo. Bull? Not the bull. No. I've been to the Alamo. I took a picture there and left. Get the this is, I've been to the Alamo Dome, actually, where this game is being played. Really? How's that place? I haven't seen a game there. I've just been there to visit because we were going to do some sponsorships. But Got it. Uh, this is Utah <clears> minus <throat> seven. Utah is 11-2, and two, still at number 11. Um, Texas, look, man, I don't think Texas can afford to lose this game. I think Texas has given up on this season. So you think they're going to lose this game? I think they're going to try. I don't know if they're going to try. I think they're going to give a half-hearted effort to this game and then get a new coach. Oof. <laughs> I think Texas wins this game. Yeah, I'm taking Texas in this game. Hook them. Um, and they're getting seven points. Fuck it. I That Utah just looks so shitty against Oregon. 
How awful that team looked. I know. They did look pretty bad. That was Oregon, for Christ's sakes. That's not even a Big 12 team. So I'm taking Texas all day. Give me seven points. Put them in my face. Uh, next up, the Outback Bowl. Big, big fan of Outback Steakhouse. Are you? No. You like that onion? The Bloomin' one? Yeah. No, it's like 7,000 goddamn calories. Good day, mate. No. It's really good. Put another shrimp on the baddie. Um, the other thing about the Outback Bowl that is uh, surprising to you is um, they got margaritas there. They got margaritas at the Outback Bowl. Did you know that? That's better than most college situations. Yeah. Like last year, it was hit or miss whether you would even get booze at one. Yeah. This year, you can get Bone Viv or Truly or White Claw, most of them. Yeah. And beers. Some beers. It's a limited selection, but yeah, margaritas, I'm down with that. I think you get margaritas at this game um, because it's it's the Buccaneers game, so you can get whatever you want, liquor-wise. Uh, this is Minnesota against Auburn. This is a decent game. Yeah. Um, are you looking at the stats on this one? I am, yeah. So the the spread right now is 7.5. That's a lot of points I know. for this game. I feel I like this is a three-point game. I <laughs> I think Auburn's got a lot of confidence. I don't believe in Minnesota that much right now. Um, I'm going to take Auburn, but I'm going to knock this down to six and a half. Is that what it said on my bookie? The last time I looked, it was me book seven and a half. Let's see if it changed. Because if so, man, I, look, it's still seven and a half. Yeah, I'm going <clears> to <throat> knock this down a point and take Auburn. Um, Minnesota's had a had a good run, but uh, Auburn's got a lot of confidence after that game. Yeah, and I think this game. If they beat Minnesota, this will lead them into uh, the new year with some hope. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're number 12. They're ahead of Alabama. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Michigan is playing Alabama in the VRBO Citrus Bowl. You know where this one's being played? It's uh, in uh, oh, oh, Camping man. World Stadium, brother. Is it real? They're back. God damn it, They're dude. Back and better than ever. Why? This is the worst stadium on earth. Why well, are they playing the two games two worst teams on earth um, with the worst fan bases? Michigan fans and Alabama fans coming together as one. Yeah. And enjoying <laughs> the misery of being 13 and 14 <laughs> in the country and playing in the Camping World Stadium Bowl. No two teams deserve this more. Um, this is Alabama minus seven in this one? Yeah. <laughs> Alabama's going to win minus seven. I think so, too. The only thing that to watch out for on this one, I will say, is Alabama has a fuck ton of people leaving to go to the NFL. Yeah, we'll see Therefore, if they play. see if Jerry Judy and those guys play, because if not, uh, this could be a weird game where you're just like, all right, cool. It happened in Michigan last year. Remember half of Michigan team sat out, Winovich and all those guys? Yeah, I mean, shit, Christian McCaffrey sat out his bowl game. Yeah. I would too, man. Yeah. Why, um, why watch, watch out for that in a lot of these games, um, except for the Memphis game, obviously, because you're playing for Mark Cohn at that point. Yeah. Um, What's he do? He sings a song called Walk in Memphis. <laughs> Walk in with my feet and I'll be. So, besides that game, I don't know how hard players are really going to try, except for the, the playoffs. So, check before you bet on any of these. I mean, obviously, I'm a dummy who bets all this shit. So, like, uh, just check and see if these players are playing. Uh, next up, we got Oregon, number six, against Wisconsin. This is a good game, actually. Uh, and the Rose Bowl. No, it's Run not. for the Rose. Wisconsin's going to fucking destroy Oregon in this game. I got Wisconsin in this one. It's, it's Wisconsin minus three right now. Yeah, it's easy. I'll take this down a half point. <clears throat> just in case. This next game is actually more problematic for me. Well... Fuck. Georgia, Georgia Baylor. It's in. It's at the Mercedes uh, Dome in, in Louisiana. I just don't. I think Georgia's fucked. Love that chicken from Popeyes. This is uh, the All State Sugar Bowl, obviously. Um, look, Georgia's fucked, but so is Baylor. Baylor's on their third quarterback. That's true. From is playing for the NFL scouts. He's got to play in this game, I believe. It's his last chance. It is <clears throat> to impress anyone. This is Georgia minus seven right now. I will, again, buy this at a half a point and take Georgia minus six and a half. I'm good with that. Um, <clears throat> th- these kids have to play, and they got to play well. Uh, Baylor, 
Look, man, I, I will say this. Baylor's going to go for it because they don't have a choice. Yeah. Um, but I don't know who their fucking quarterback's going to be. And that's a that's a problem. So I think Georgia wins this one. Um, Georgia fucking A, what a disappointment. Yep. I don't tell me tell me in what world they ended up at number five after that fucking blowout <laughs> ass pounding to LSU. The fucking college football playoffs love Georgia. Remember last year? They put a two loss Georgia team in over a one loss Ohio State team in, and we had Haskins, for Christ's sakes. Like it's fucking insane, this college football playoffs, man. I'll, I'll go as far as to say this. Uh, uh, out of the two losses in the SEC, I'd rather see Alabama there than Georgia at five. Yeah, for sure. It's fucking crazy, dude. So, I don't know. Georgia is on the, the downswing. I don't know that they recover from that bad uh, that bad loss. And half their team is going to be gone next year. So, good luck. The the real hope that they have is that uh, Fromm absolutely has to fucking dominate. Well, no, for this year. And I think they'll win this bowl game, right? <laughs> I'm actually going to bet on this one. I'm betting on all of them, but I'm, I'm, I'll go heavier on this one. I don't, I don't understand Georgia at five or what they're going to do man, <clears throat> after this. I don't know what they're going to do with that program. No, I don't know who's in the wings, waiting in the wings. I don't either. For them at quarterback. Because, right, look, Justin feels left. Yeah. So – you take Ohio State <clears throat> sits, right? We'd be fuck we'd be fucked if uh or fuck, either one you want to use. We'd be fucked if Justin Fields gets hurt. You know, he's got a sprained MCL. Yep. If he goes out for the game, I can tell you this. Our two backups are shitty. Yep. We lost Joe Burrow to I don't know, something. But he Ah, uh, LSU. That's yep. where he went. Uh he's gonna win the Heisman trophy. Um we lost him. We lost Tate Martell to Miami. Um and then we lost Baldwin to I believe it was Oklahoma State, and I think he's able eligible next year. Um, that's three amazing backups. And yep. then we had, <clears throat> at one point, by the way, they were going through uh, on ESPN the other night, Ohio State's quarterback system at one point. Mm -hmm. It was fucking Haskins, JT Barrett, mm -hmm. Cardiel Jones, <clears throat> and Joe Burrow. That was our four quarterbacks that we carried at Ohio State. It's not bad. Jesus Christ, dude. Cardell Jones won a national championship. Mm -hmm. JT Barrett broke every school record that ever existed in Ohio State history. Haskins was a first-round pick. Burrow's going to win the Heisman. It's insane, man. By the way, I want to remind all you LSU fans that uh, Joe Burrow is an alumni of the Ohio State University. That's where he got his degree from. So although you can enjoy him and this season, uh, please know that he's an alum the same as me. We have a secret handshake, and we will forever. <laughs> you will not have that with him. You and 65 other, 65,000 other people, people a year. <laughs> you will be able to <clears throat> misspell his last name, Burrow, with a E A U X. That's so I stupid. I will be able to shake his hand from alumni to alumni. I'm say, a Cajun. I am raging. Shut that's, up. That's another team. Uh, next <clears throat> up, Boston College versus Cincinnati. Hey, kids, this is the Ticket Smarter Birmingham Bowl. What the fuck is Ticket Smarter? I don't believe I know. I that. imagine it's a company that sells game tickets and concert tickets. Awful. Uh, Boston College is, uh, is playing Cincinnati. Cincinnati is minus seven. I don't know what happened to Cincinnati's quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, I know they lost both of those games to Memphis, and they lost their quarterback on the first possession. Here's what I do know. The last time Cincinnati played an ACC team in a bowl game was last year when it was Virginia Tech, and they beat them. So I'm going Virginia Tech here. Or I'm sorry, I'm going for Cincinnati. But I'm going to take it down to six and a half. I'll do the same uh, simply for the reason. I've got a different reason behind this. I think uh, Luke Fickle, who was the interim head coach for Ohio State for mm. one year between uh, Jim Tressel and Urban Meyer, I think he's jockeying for a bigger job uh, that's out there. And so I think he's got to fucking win this game. Um, but we'll see. So I'll take Cincinnati. And it was the same as you, six and a half. Um, next up, man, this game is fascinating. There's no spread on it. Uh, this is Indiana, eight and four against Tennessee, seven and five. At the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. I don't know anything about these teams. Well, I know this. Tennessee was near death after that Georgia State loss. Yeah. They somehow managed to fight all the way back. They were 1-4. and four. So they went 6-1 and one over the last seven games. Indiana is a scrappy fucking team, man. Uh, this is a pick em, and it should be. Mm -hmm. Because who knows? <clears throat> who knows in this one? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go towards Indiana because... Indiana's given people fits this year for a little bit. Uh, at Tennessee, I don't know who they've given any fits to. So I'm going to take Indiana on this one. I'm going to pick them. 
I'm just looking to see who Tennessee beat. <clears throat> mm. Mm, uh-uh. Yeah. Vanderbilt and Missouri are their best wins. Missouri's not terrible. Mississippi State they beat. I'll go with Tennessee. All right. You do that and enjoy every bit of it. Every ounce of that. Every ounce that comes out of your scrot. I hope you enjoy this game. That's not where it comes from. It is. It definitely is. Next up, we got the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Man, throw some sour cream. Pour some sugar on me. <clears throat> throw some sour cream It's on the me. potatoes that are famous, not this bowl game, by the way. No, the bowl game is pretty fucking famous. No. Um, you remember the uh, the Riverwalk miracle in this game? No. Yeah. Everybody still talks about that to this day. No one. Yeah. It, w- it wasn't so much about the game. Is a, a child after the game. Uh, fell off the river walk into the water and uh, somebody saved the child. Hmm. Three years old. Oh, that's good. Uh, hell of a story. <clears throat> um, there's a 30 for 30 that's never coming out of And that it. kid grew up to be Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> 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 and that kid grew up to be Barack Obama. <laughs> so the first black president of the United States. This is at Albertson Stadium in Boise. Um, you know, it's on that Smurf turf, brother. This is Ohio against Nevada. Ohio minus seven and a half. I love it. I love this game. Why? Ohio's great, man. The state? Really underrated. No, the uh, university. Uh, they're 6-6 six and six against the 7-5 Nevada team. I have no idea on this game. No, I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. I, you know what? I'm actually going to take Nevada. I'm going to switch that. I'm going to take Nevada at 7.5. Mm. It's probably <clears> a one-score game. I'll go Ohio then. Ooh, you fuck. You fuck. Yep. Um, enjoy it, dude. Uh, tickets are going for $17 if you're at home and have nothing to do on Friday, January 3rd at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, which is whatever <laughs> that is in Boise. No idea what their time zone is. Next up, we got the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl with no military schools here. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, they'll, uh, they'll honor some people at halftime. Yeah. Uh, they do it at every game, though. You know, why not put a fucking real military school in here? You got Southern Miss, uh, Mississippi against Tulane. Green Wave. Green Wave. Tulane minus six and a half. Southern Miss is infamous for Brett Favre going to school there. It's the only game that's going on that day. Well, <clears throat> might as well throw all your money on it then because God knows you know it's both the, of these teams. It's the last Saturday of football in college football this year. Yeah, you know. Oh, I know why. This this is because uh, there's two. Uh, this is the playoffs for uh, NFL. There's a four o'clock game and an eight o'clock game that mm. night. So they're trying to squeeze this one in eleven thirty Eastern. I see. Who? That's early in Fort Worth. What time is that in Fort Worth then? Um, ten thirty. Ten thirty a.m. Mm. Jesus Christ, man! That's Central Time. Who gets up that early to play football? I don't get up that Children. early. To do this job, to be <laughs> honest. As a matter of fact, as soon as the show's over, I'm going to go take a nap. Yeah. Uh, this is Tulane minus six and a half. Who do you got here? Um, I guess Tulane. I don't know. Good for you, man. I'm going to go with Brett Favre School and take uh, Southern Miss. You know? See what happens. <clears throat> uh, throw some money. I'll probably throw all my money on it. This is the Amon G. Carter Stadium, in case you were wondering who Amon G. Ammon. Carter was. Yeah. Soft A. It's a hard O is what it is, my man. I'm on. Um, next up on Monday nights, everyone will be talking about this game at the water cooler. The Lending Tree Bowl. It's the next to last game of the college football season. Bet your ass, dude. And why not end it with a bang? Louisiana <clears> against <throat> Miami of Ohio. Yeah. So that's the game everybody wants to see. Louisiana minus 14 in this game. My Oof. God, man. Um, I'm going to buy a half a point and take Miami of Ohio. They just played in a conference championship. Well, I mean, Louisiana played App State, lost by seven. Mm-hmm. It's a good team. Yeah. <clears throat> that, was that, that, a, that was, a, was, that was the conference three. championship game, too. App State was up by 30 in that. I yeah. wouldn't put too much stock in that. Well, they played App State early in the year, and it was 17-7. Yeah. 
going I'm gonna go with Louisiana. All right. Um for a couple of reasons. The first is what I just said. The second is because Ben Roethlisberger went to Miami, Ohio. Yeah, I did. I fucking hate that guy. I so I love him. He fucked me over though. He got <clears> hurt for the, this year. Yeah, he fucked over one of my fantasy teams. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Miami, a, Miami of Ohio at 14 and a half. I'm by a half a point. Kick this up. Feel real good about that. The last game is the national championship. Um, we have no spread. You're assuming though that it is LSU Clemson. Yep. Uh, we will be talking about this. So there's no reason to. Just Get going to hypotheticals? No. <clears throat> I think it's going to be Ohio State versus LSU. Could be. And uh, It's definitely not going to be Oklahoma. No. no it's I don't think that's Oklahoma. even an option. Nope. Definitely not an option. So uh, we shall see who that one is, but obviously we'll, we'll have more sports shows in between that. D'Anthony. God damn it, man. It's a long one. It's been a great, great, great show, man. Yeah. Great I love show. talking about these teams I've never heard of. I mean, I think we should uh, – let me see if I can pull this up real quick here because I'm sure everybody at this point has stayed tu- has tuned tuned in, you know, because we've had some really, really aggressive picks here. Um, oh, shit, dude. Fucking cone. Does anybody feel the way I feel about these bowl games? If so, bet them on mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros. Doubles your deposit all the way to $1,000. And for all you coneheads out there, I'll see you in Memphis. I'll be walking. <laughs>